Families from Highland Park are taking their fight against guns to Springfield tomorrow morning. This comes as the community marks six months since the unspeakable tragedy on the 4th of July. Casey Cronus is there tonight. Corey and Don, hundreds of people, including survivors of the Highland Park massacre, are traveling to the state capitol to call on lawmakers to pass a sweeping gun control bill. The Protect Illinois Communities Act was introduced last month by State Representative Bob Morgan to address the root of gun violence. He was at Highland Park's 4th of July parade last summer when gunfire erupted, leaving seven people dead and dozens more injured. His proposed legislation consists of four main parts. First, it would ban assault weapons across the state, along with large capacity magazines and rapid fire devices. It would crack down on gun trafficking, raise the legal age to purchase a gun to 21, and finally extend the length of a firearm restraining order from six months to one year. Highland Park resident and Harvard grad student Rachel Jacoby is helping to lead this charge. Every single person in Illinois deserves to live their life free from gun violence. And there's no one magical piece of legislation that's going to completely solve the gun violence problem that we have in our state, in our country. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't stop trying. We've heard that some legislators have plans to go home and take the weekend off. But I think our message to them is that gun violence doesn't take a break, so neither should you. The new General Assembly will be sworn in next Wednesday, January 11th. And it's not just Highland Park residents heading to Springfield tomorrow morning, but people from across the area, including Evanston and the south side of Chicago. Reporting live in Highland Park, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.